Welcome to the channel and in this video we are covering Rocket Game once again and takeoff is starting very very soon. Before we get any further though remember nothing in this video is financial advice. Please do your own research and only invest what you are willing to lose. So at the time of seeing this video Rocket Game will be launching in one hour that is 2.30 UTC time. So yeah, 2.30 UTC is the launch. Again, check out the countdown, but this video will be up one hour before the launch. So we've had a look at Rocket Game before. It is another miner, and this is on the Binance Smart Chain. Good thing with Rocket Game is that you actually use BUSD, which is nice that it's a stable coin staker instead of just using BNB. Just remember though, you'll need a bit of BNB to cover the gas fees. So just keep that in hand with your wallet. So you get 10% daily return. 3,650% 3, APR. There is a dev fee of 3% and refuel, which is compounding, gives you a 2% bonus, which is very nice. So another baked beans fork. Pretty much you want to improve your spend. Launch your rocket is the investment button. You want to remember that your initial investment that goes into the contract pool. So that does not actually come back to you. You just get paid back through the profits. So then refueling is your compounding and land rocket is where you would claim to get your rewards back. I'll go through the strategy in a second. There, of course, is a referral program, and this is Orbit Game. So by the looks of it, there is actually a $2,000 giveaway. If you join their Telegram, follow their Twitter, and input your wallet address, if, if you win, you need to invest 50 BUSD at a minimum when the project launches and put it into the Telegram. And yeah, so you can actually get entered into a $2,000 giveaway. The project is audited by Hayes Crypto. You can see we have one issue again. It's a high risk. It's a, it's a staker. It's ROI in DeFi. Again, you guys remember these are risky projects, but you can make very nice profits from them. Your principal deposit cannot be withdrawn. So whatever you launch rocket that goes into the contract that is gone and you get dividends and referral commission. Those are your profits paid back and those are paid by deposits of other users. So Ponzinomics in crypto, however, these are a bit more sustainable because they have that six to one best strategy. Again, launch date will be today at 2.30 UTC in one hour. And we have uh, two fees. Well, the dev fees 3% for deposits and 3% for withdrawal. So overall, technically a 6% fee, just 3% on your deposit and 3% on your withdrawal. And we take a look, their telegram is building up now. We're at what, nearly 1,600 members, 162 online. And if we take a look at the white paper for Rocket Game, again, your daily percentage is up to 10%. Depending on your habits, the withdrawing, compounding, your ROI will fluctuate. However, you're going to be looking at around 7 to 10%. It all depends on your landing habits. If you obviously, what's the word? If you land too much, which is like claiming too much, your ROI will be lower. And also remember that in the DAP, it only goes to three decimal places. So your rewards, if you only put in a small investment, you might not be able to see them straight away. If you're always landing your rocket, which is claiming, or I guess withdrawing, your daily percentage will drop dramatically and you will not see the highest daily returns. This is an anti-whale mechanism that prevents whales from draining the contract, which is very nice. Refueling is compounding. So again, it does not really matter where well, it's, it's it'll compound faster if you do it more times per day. But again, remember, you have to pay the gas fees on the Binance Smart Chain for every refuel. Rockets of the miners that are hired with BUSD to work for your rewards. Your initial does not come back. That goes straight into the contract and then you just get paid over through rewards. 3% dev fee. So the strategy you want to use here, the six to one explained. So the community followed the best, well, this is to keep the optimum ROI is the six to one strategy, which means you compound, you refuel six times per week or six days, and then you withdraw land one day. So for example, this is launching on a Saturday. So say we would refuel every single day for six days. And then on Friday in basically seven days time, we would land the rocket. Is it too late to invest? Obviously, you want to get in at the start, but these projects are more sustainable with that six to one strategy and how the actual rocket values work. It's always actually good to get in. Obviously, the earlier, the better, because you can start compounding, but you can sort of get in at any time. 
and of course the crunch act is immutable and there are no exploits because it has been audited the anti-whale mechanism again is this six to one strategy because if you claim more your roi daily will actually be lower and yeah we can see four to three is even lower and if you just keep claiming your roi will keep going down and down and down so i highly advise it stick into the six to one if you want to have it the most sustainability obviously you don't have to follow that strategy however if you want to keep the 10 percent daily you'll need to follow six to one there might be some hidden secret op strategy that no one knows yet but six to one currently is still the best thing to do obviously you can claim to try and get your initial if you want to be less risk averse however your roi will be lower if you claimed a lot at the start and then you will have to compound to try and build it back up but that is rocket game i'm probably going to be jumping in here with i reckon just 50 bosd to see how things go again you only want to invest what you are willing to lose and these things are pretty risky but providing you get in on launch you should be pretty good and rocket game had launched orbit game before and that was really successful so i feel like this should be pretty successful as well but thank you guys for watching i hope you did enjoy and i'll see you guys on my next video